Have you ever driven on a street here in the islands and wondered how did that street get its name? Well, that's why every Thursday, or as we say in Hawaiian, Po'aha, we have our Aloha Authentic segment, which, which helps to answer that question and share stories behind the given names. This month, we are highlighting streets that carry the names of cultural practices in our islands, and this week, we're talking about an ancient healing art. In the Ahupua of Kaneohe, which lies in the moku of Ko'olau Poko here on Oahu, stands a very short cul-de-sac street with only a few homes on it that hold the name of a traditional healing art in Hawaiian culture known as Lomi Lomi, the street being known as Lomi Place. Lomi Lomi, or just Lomi, is a native art of massage healing through touch. If you look around for massage in Hawaii, you'll definitely come across services titled as Lomi Lomi. However, majority of these advertised services are not the traditional art form. The main difference between massage therapy and the art of Lomi Lomi comes down to the ritual, sanctity, and sacredness that you put into the art, which includes protocol. So spirituality definitely plays a role, allowing the mana, or energy, to flow throughout the body. In the Hawaiian mentality, most physical ailments people deal with derive from a spiritual or energetic blockage, which could be prevented through the art of Lomi Lomi. Did you know? Now you do. Now you do. Now you do. Love it. Okay, so all of these segments are so great. And and one, or I guess multiple that we did, we broke mm -hmm. down Ahupua'a and Moku. For those who maybe missed it or just tuning in, can you remind us the difference and, and what they are? Oh yeah, definitely. So in, in Ahupua'a, well the Ahupua'a system is an ancient traditional means of breaking down our islands. Uh, Moku are what islands are broken up to their large land divisions. So Oahu has six, I believe, um, including a contemporary one. And then Ahupua'a are small land sections within a moku that run from the top of the mountain all the way down to the seashore. So it provides, hopefully the idea is that nature and what its resources that it provides reside within each ahupua'a so the community that resides in there as well can survive. Okay, wonderful. Thanks again for the reminder. Oh, yes. All right, now let's go back to the Lomi Lomi. What is the difference between Lomi Lomi and I guess regular massage therapy? Yeah, that's a, a good question. <laughs> um, a simple, the simplest way to put it is the, the ritual and the sanctity that we've mentioned before that you put into it. I, I used to do uh, go to massage school and there was somebody in there who answered that question but they said, oh no, it's just when you put your elbows, your arms, you do this and this and that. And, and I had to go up to the people after and like, that, that's not right because oh. um, there's many different techniques and, and ways of doing Lomi, but it really comes down to the energy, the protocol, and that spirituality that takes a little bit more time and effort. But that's what separates the two is that ritual. Okay. And can you talk more about that spirituality and the energy of yeah, Lomi? Yeah, definitely. You know, reading, doing Lomi is like reading the body. And Lomi Lomi, one perspective of that is really a relationship of two spirits coming together um, to heal each other. You know, the spirit of the, the Lomi Lomi practitioner and that who is being Lomi. Um, now, one of the first things you, you really do, and this kind of answers the, the previous question, was you, you do this protocol to kind of like clear the space. What we call in Hawaiian Noah, the word Noah means to relinquish any type of kapu, any type of um, things that could have been hindering that space. But the space itself needs to be sacred or, or have that sanctity before you can pr provide the services of healing. So spirituality definitely is that energy that flows between and you're also wanting to share your energy with that who you're massaging and vice versa. Okay, very neat. And are there any, I guess, specialties with Lomi Lomi? There, there actually is. So there's many different specialties that we're focused on within that art. Um, one in particular is like a bone setter. What they say is haki haki. When you get the bones and you're setting them, you know, when you, you, you break a bone or you dislocate something, uh, one specialty is to set those bones back. But there's a, a, a specific technique in doing that because, of course, the last thing you want to do is, is injure the person that you're, you're healing. So um, we'll be speaking with a person who comes from more of a, a Bone breaking expertise, and he can share more about that. Okay, and with that said, we do have a second segment <laughs> coming up, so we're gonna be doing some Lomi Lomi. I'm lucky because I get to be the model <laughs> today, so stay tuned. We're gonna be learning more about the energy. I'm excited to feel that. <laughs> I'm excited to get this Lomi Lomi going on. But again, uh, all, of, all of Kamaka's Aloha Authentic segments are posted online, so if you wanna catch yes. up, make sure you head on over to kh12.com as well, and we'll be putting this up a little bit later too. Thanks yes, so much, Kamaka. Mahalo. This month on Aloha Authentic, we are focusing on cultural art forms in Hawaii. 
This week, we highlight a healing art form that continues today, but sometimes misunderstood. We are talking about the art of Lomi Lomi, and what better way to talk about this than to have a Lomi practitioner in studio, Kapono Aluli Suza. Good morning, Kapono. Good morning. Mahalo nui for joining us. I know you have a busy schedule. <laughs> um, so first of, you know, we talk about Lomi and, and um, all of the tr traditions and lineages that come behind the practice. But first off, how long have you been studying Lomi? Oh, shoot. Um, professionally since 94, but um, I got my start very early, um, probably about eight or nine years old through my grandmother. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what is the lineage or the techniques or the, something that's unique to your tradition? Okay, so um, my story starts when I was about eight or nine years old. My grandmother, um, she's known in the community as a musician, but at home, like many families, um, there were elders that would take care of you when you're sick and so I grew up always sickly I couldn't go out and play and it was my tutu who basically um, would lo me me and so I learned that tradition was transmitted to me through nonverbal communication right mm -hmm. so it's through her touch that was the language that she used mm -hmm. and for many years you know I basically grew up in her household and that's all I knew. Mm -hmm. And it's not unlike many other families. Um, within your household, there is at least a family member, whether within the ohana or outside that you knew of, that would come in and take care of the person when they were ma'i or sick. Mm -hmm. um, and so um, I, I definitely attribute that to my, my tutu for putting me on that path, for yeah. sure. So what are some things like, you know, since we have Kelly, who's so anxiously <laughs> sleeping and laid down, <laughs> what are some things that, you know, say, lower back pain is something that's common through people. What are some things that we could possibly do at home in the sure. sense of Lomi Lomi? So from the Lomi Lomi perspective, from where we come from, it's basically understanding what there's one, there's got to be two. Mm -hmm. So we are all, always looking for balance, counterbalance to kind of equalize both. Um, so if, for example, you have a low back issue, normally what we do is we always start from the front indirectly, mm -hmm. moving towards wherever the specific issue is mm -hmm. um, and um, the way I was taught was we always do what's called ha ha which is to um, palpate first mm -hmm. is to feel where the textural differences are and primarily from the front because this is our understanding that is your foundation your na'au mm -hmm. right um, and so understanding wherever the um, the inequalities are the issues are we're gonna ha ha so I'll just show you real quick how this starts before we start it's important that we always separate, understand that the body itself is inherently sacred, right? Mm -hmm. So whenever you're touching someone, because touch is a language, we always want to create a safe space. It's all about safety to create the conditions yeah, of healing. We want to allow this person's body, but also their spirit to be present. Mm -hmm. And it, then it's the relationship between the giver and the receiver, because we have to work together. Mm -hmm. That's, I think, in my mind, what separates, yeah? So um, we always use water um, because the idea is water is what, where life comes from. Mm -hmm. So um, we use water as a cleansing agent. So the idea is we just want to create the conditions to prepare the space, to separate the ordinary and elevate this space to a higher level. Mm -hmm. Now we, that therapeutic relationship is present, mm -hmm. yeah? Then we start with the ha, -ha. So with the way I was taught was always from here. We start from this um, point here and we work down the sternum. And all we're doing is, is working with the nervous system, yeah? So I'm feeling here and I'm going down to the old poo and what I'm, what I'm looking for, any textural differences, what we call poo poo or like raised areas, right? So we come down to the whole pole, which is the, um, the diaphragm, and then we feel, and we just palpate. And so what I'm doing is because I'm feeling how that, this hand uh, captures what I'm feeling down here, so mm -hmm. it's indirect, yeah? Mm -hmm. And we're feeling where the poo poo are, so I feel it mostly on the right side, and down, then we're out to the big toe, so yeah, so it's going to be here. So. Awesome. Now I know 
where to start from. Okay. Awesome, Kapoor. I know it was such a short time, but yep. even that within itself and understanding the language of the body, that was a lot that you were able to share with us. So mahalo nui um, with that. And if, again, if you want more information, oh, if you want more information, where can people find you? Yeah, I mean, the best place to find me is on Facebook, uh, okay. Kailua Medical. Okay, awesome. Yeah. So again, check that place out and we'll be posting that on our KHON2 page as well.